Samsung's new tablets are taking on the king of the tablet game, the Apple iPad. Here are some things that Samsung does that Apple may want to pay attention to. That camera placement. Ever since the iPad got a front-facing camera way back in 2011, the camera has always been on the top if you're holding the device in a portrait orientation. That made plenty of sense. This tablet was like your iPhone. You hold your iPhone in portrait mode when you do video calls, you hold your iPad the same way. Yeah, things changed though. Apple kept boosting the capabilities of the iPad. It gained tons and tons of new features that made it more computer-like. Once the Apple iPad started working with the Smart Keyboard Folio and then Magic Keyboard, that's when things got very strange for the camera placement. If you attach an iPad to an Apple keyboard, the iPad is in landscape. So that camera is on the side. If you wanna center yourself in the frame for video calls while trying to see the screen, things can get a little awkward. The newest Samsung tablets place its front-facing cameras on the longer side. So when you try to use the tablet with a keyboard, that camera is centered. It's kind of like a laptop. To be fair to Apple, it has introduced its center stage feature that allows the ultra-wide camera to keep you in the center of the picture. However, when you're looking at an iPad that is using center stage, something is still a little off. That's because the camera location is centered on the side. If it was in the corner or on the longer side, it may provide a more natural look. Let's talk about the stylus. So all the latest generations of iPad can use the Apple Pencil. The Mini, the Air, the Pro, and even the one just called iPad. The regular iPad uses the first generation pencil, while the rest use the second generation. That's great. The iPad Air site prominently promotes your creative studio on the go, with graphics of someone drawing on an iPad. Below that is a section that boasts of the notepad where your best ideas are born. That's great. You know what's not great? That the Apple Pencil is not included with any iPad. The first generation pencil costs $100, and the second gen Apple Pencil will cost you 129 bucks. Yes, I know that when you buy a paper notepad, it probably doesn't include a writing instrument. Then again, you're probably not paying hundreds of dollars for paper and pencils. Samsung's Tab S8 line, the regular one, the Plus and the Ultra, each include an S Pen. Now granted, the Tab S8 starts at $700, so the price of the pen is probably built in. Maybe Apple could throw in the pencil on the Pro line. Am I being greedy here by wanting a stylus from Apple included? Maybe. Let's talk about displays. OLED displays can be excellent. The iPhone 13 has one. Lots of other phones use OLED too. They all boast the same positives. True black, excellent contrast, and for some, bright whites. Right now, the best iPads, the iPad Pros, use LCD displays. The largest one, the 12.9 inch model, features a mini LED backlight system, which is an improvement over traditional LED backlight systems that should allow for really good contrast. It's closer to OLED, but it's not OLED. Samsung's Tab S8 Plus and Ultra feature OLED displays. That means every individual pixel can be turned on or off. You get the deepest blacks on OLED displays. That can make an image pop. Meanwhile, no iPad has OLED. I could see Apple moving the iPad over to OLED eventually, but an included stylus will probably never happen. If you want to know more about backlights, LEDs, mini LEDs, and the sort, we've got it all explained on CNET.com. Let's talk about expandable storage. Samsung's Tab S8 devices have them. You want to guess what the iPad has? No iPad has ever featured expandable storage without some kind of adapter or workaround. Also, hey Samsung, you could take a lesson from your tablets and put expansion back in your phones. Apple, take a lesson from your MacBook Pros and let your iPad Pros be pros. Both of you, figure it out. What about a 4K front-facing camera option? Here's what Samsung says in its press release. Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra's new 4K recording capabilities now allow you to capture crisp, eye-catching videos with both the rear camera and ultra-wide front camera. With today's reliance on front-facing cameras, quality counts. Apple does offer 1080p video on its iPads, and that's good. Then again, if you were using center stage and the image is being zoomed in as you move, 4K could be good. Higher resolution is not everything when it comes to image quality, but it could help. And of course, let's talk about the notch. Samsung put one on their S8 Ultra tablet. Apple, what are you waiting for? No, 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 don't do that. I'm just, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. That's like putting a notch on a laptop display. 
What do you think of those new Samsung tablets? Let us know. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I will see you online. Also, Dex. Dex would be good on an Apple device, too, like a desktop. Imagine Mac OS on an iPad. Eh, that'll never happen.